And from the depths of the Convelli Center, I am being looks fully masked up as we just witnessed what would I consider to be a shellacking in main regard. There's no nice way of putting it. This was a match two years in the making, and Hawaii did not want to waste any more time as they go on out and defeat BYU, a dominant serving performance for the Rainbow Warriors. Ten aces, they hit 381. Uh, Brand, or Brandon, Jonathan, and Peter, anyone who's here, it's been a long week. It's been a long week. So, Peter, Jonathan, we broke down everything that's mentioned nauseam. I don't think any of us had this play out. I, you know, I, in some ways, it was the result definitely was not what I expected, but the way that Hawaii won was not surprising. The way that they utilized their middles, they used a strong serve. That those items, we knew that those were going to be the the uh, keys to the match. And um, I, I loved seeing how not only the middles were being uh, used by Hawaii, but also just the uh, BIC. I, I you know. I did not see that from BYU and um, other than the serving, I think that was the difference. Peter, let's bring you in here. Um, you know, it, it's probably easier said than done, but yeah, I mean, man, they just could not pass Hawaii at all today. Yeah, Hawaii really came out strong in the service line today and they kept BYU on the edge of their heels the entire game. And you know, it's it's tough to win a game when you only come up with two service aces on eleven with eleven errors for BYU. When on the other hand, you have Hawaii putting in uh, ten service aces in three matches. Um, just an utterly dominant performance, like you said. They just came out ready to play, very very hungry uh, for this win. And you know, it's been the match we've been looking forward to for a while. And definitely did not see it being a sweep at all. But as Jonathan said, I am not surprised that Hawaii won in the fashion that they did. Well, and one of the other impressive things I think stood out for me was you look at, you know, some of the players who maybe not got all the buzz going into this match. You know, Park Hunoff was the big talking point. Gaspin was the big talking point. But look down at the stat line. Look at your players like Voss and Chaz Galloway. Both of them had you know, five plus kills, zero errors, executing when they had their opportunities, playing huge defense. It was just such an all around team win for Hawaii. It's what we've seen from them all season long. So Jonathan, once again, just you have to be impressed with the way that Hawaii has conducted themselves this entire season, the way that they've gone after it during one, maybe one of the most challenging years in NCAA volleyball history. I think to the the point to your point, uh, when Rada was uh, named the National Player of the Year, he kind of made a point or made it a point to say that individual awards do, doesn't mean anything to him. It's all about the championship, and you could see that focus on them. And um, you know, their mantra all season has been unfinished business. And now they finish it. Now I feel like now they can celebrate. It's finally. I don't. I won't say it's a. There was an elephant on their back, but I feel like there had. There was a lot of pressure because they're not just playing for themselves, their their team, but for the whole state of Hawaii. And um, congratulations to them on their first national championship. All right, guys, let's go on with some closing thoughts here. Peter, what's your final thoughts on the match and just this 2021 season? I mean, this has definitely been a uh, one of a kind season without a doubt, you know, with all the uh, issues that COVID brought up. Um, I mean, I think we're all very thankful that we even had a full season and got to crown a champion this year. And, you know, despite the score, uh, BYU had a fantastic season. You know, unfortunately, tonight did not go their way in many aspects. Um, but you got to tip your hat to Hawaii, too. They they really came to fight and they really wanted to prove that. And as Jonathan said, there was a lot of pressure on that, especially being in um that national championship game with a team of all seniors. A lot of these guys are playing potentially what could be their last games of their career. Although I project many of them playing overseas and seeing them in the national teams in many years to come. Um, but you know, as you said too, like the other, it was an all around team game. Um, Chaz Galloway, Guillermo Voss, even Jakob Dele, they played fantastic. And when you have really good supporting pieces to your national player of the year, who finally I feel like got out of his slump today, 
um, hit it, had amazing game and trying to stop a team like that is just very difficult. Um, I think if they played anyone in the uh, nation in a normal schedule this year like that, they still would have been undefeated in my opinion. Yeah, there's definitely bright future for all for all the players who graduate. But let's be honest, so we're not really looking forward to Rail Park going up playing. We, just retire. We don't need to deal with you playing for Bulgaria going up against Team USA. Just go out on top, Rado. Right. We, we, we don't want to have to deal with you in the Volleyball Nations League. All right, Jonathan, what, what's your takeaway? Uh, and I think um, the both uh, Sean Olmstead and and Charlie Wade may, uh, mentioned to this in their post-match Zoom, and I 100% agree, and I know you, uh, you two agree, that we are so thankful for everybody that made this season possible, the support staff, the administration, um, the uh, the coaches, the players, everybody that was involved in making the season happen in playing through a pandemic. We got a national title, a national championship awarded tonight, and I'm just uh, very thankful that uh, it came to fruition and, um, yeah, couldn't be more grateful. Yeah, closing off that, Jonathan, I'll kind of give the final thoughts on the 2021 season. You put up both of you guys say, right, it was a, a year like no other. And in a year like no other, we finally had something expected that would happen. And that was Hawaii, BYU, and Hawaii wins the national championship. I, I, I think that if you had asked us at the beginning of the season, that's what we would have said, or BYU. And I think it's a testament to both these teams, the commitment that, sh that they showed. But bigger than volleyball, we mentioned all the people that were involved all the non-volleyball people who put this event on at the Cabelli Center who were wiping down seats just to make this thing happen. I mean, it's a testament to everyone. And then also the volleyball community as a whole. You know, I, one of the things that I've been so proud of seeing this year has just been the way the volleyball community has come together. You know, whether it's embracing, you know, hey, we really want to promote diversity and what's ways that we can bring more diversity into the game. Or if it's, hey, let's all be responsible so we wear our masks and let's get a season going. Even here at the Cavelli Center, there was no fans refusing to wear a mask, anything along those lines. It was, let's do this. Let's be part of a bigger of a bigger thing so we can move things forward. And that's one of the things that, it, it makes me proud to be a part of a community like that. So, you know, for the volleyball community, uh, as much as there was only one winner and Hawaii's the champions, the fact that we pulled off the season and everyone stayed relatively safe. I, I mean, this is a national championship for everyone. So on that note, enjoy your national championship tonight, everyone. Celebrate it. And hey, we'll be here throughout the rest of the off season. We are excited for 2021 or 2022. For Peter, thank you for joining us so much. Congrats on graduating from Tusculum. Big things are ahead of you. For Jonathan, uh, you get a pay raise you know, from $0, we're going we're gonna to triple it. And, you know, for everyone else, just, you know, thank you for all that you have done. And, hey, this isn't the end for us. We're going to still be here tomorrow and the next day and the next day. But tonight, enjoy this. It was one world of a season. Congratulations to Hawaii on a great season.